subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Hi guys, my name is Luke Stoltman. I am 36 years old from the Highlands of Scotland and I am a professional strongman that competes all over the world in different strongman events. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about my top 10 strongman moments. So starting at number 10, competing in Britain's Strongest Man, we had the Slater Log. It was 150 kilos for reps, I believe. The world record was at that moment was Zydrina Zaviskas with eight reps in 60 seconds. So this is when my log, my log was okay. I wasn't renowned for being one of the best in the world, but after this moment, I think that catapulted me up to being one of the best log lifters in the world. I managed to do eight reps in the 60 seconds. One of my fondest moments then was Graham Hicks. He actually did eight reps as well, and Graham Hicks is one of the best back then as well. He was one of the best log pressers in the world, and he actually called me out and said, you know, Luke doesn't get enough praise for how good he is at log press and that, that really meant a lot to me because uh, Hicksie is one of the kind of guys I look up to and he's amazing so for him to kind of call me out and, and give me a, a big up was, was quite a, a nice touching moment and Hicksie and I, uh, we both shared the points there, we both got eight reps which uh, is equal world record with the great Zydrina Saviskas so sharing an accolade like that with Big Z is pretty cool. So that was my number 10. My ninth best strongman moment was, it's actually one of my best, one of my worst at the same time, believe it or not, but it was competing in World's Strongest Man in the Stone Off. Some of you guys love it, some of you guys hate it. It was with my great dear friend, Rob Kearney. So that's why I say it was one of my worst moments as well, because going up against someone that I love and someone that I've got such respect for, like Rob, was very tough mentally. I want to see Rob do the best he can and, and vice versa, but to share that moment, um, that was the first time I made it to the final, I actually managed to, to, to pip Rob in that one in the stone off. But to share that with someone like Rob, you know, we embraced, we were crying. You know, I was gutted for Rob. Rob was probably gutted for himself, but at the same time, he was very happy for me. It's, it's not the top moment because it was so hard as well. You know, it, it was such a, an emotional roller coaster competing against Rob and that, but certainly one of the most memorable moments. And I've actually got a photo of up in the wall back home um, of Rob and I kind of embracing after. So, so I thank you, Rob, for one of the most memorable moments um, and the ninth best moment of my strongman career so far. Number eight of my highlight career was the very first time I competed in a Giants live show. So this was basically six months after I'd start, started to compete. Um, I ended up winning uh, Scotland's Strongest Man. Got an invite to Gateshead Giants Live. Put it in perspective, I've gone from training in Invergordon and Inverness, then getting thrown in at the deep end, competing against Robert Oberst was there, Jerry Pritchett, I think he was there, Big Terry, Laws, Eddie Hall, Mark Felix, all these greats, and then there's a little of me, you know, coming down. But that was amazing, that was such a cool experience to experience a big crowd, to get my hands on the Giants Live equipment. You know, we did a, I think it was like a 440 kilo yoke. I'd never done that before. I'd never done a yoke before. So getting that hands on with that equipment um, really kind of spurred me on. And I actually shared it on my, my Instagram page a few months ago. Um, I was up against Terry in a, a log for reps. It was 150 kilos. So I had my Adidas Sambas on. I'd, like the old reband kind of sleeves on and just didn't have a clue what I was doing. I'd never pressed 150 kilo log before and I got zero rep. And that really kind of spurred me on to, to, be, to be where I am now today in, in log press. You know, I, I don't like getting no reps in something I know I should be good at. So that really kind of pushed me on and, and gave me that, that, that drive to kind of um, make me one of the best in the world. and. and that's where it all started for me, so that's why I've got such fond memories of Gateshead. Um, it was an outdoor arena, big crowd, mum and dad were there, one of my best mates, Lewis, he was there. It was just a cool place to be, so that's why that's in my top 10 at number 8 of my best moments in Strongman. So now we're moving on to number 7 of uh, my top moments. Some of you guys might think this should have been a little bit higher. I think it talks about my mentality, so number 7 is my 221 kilo log press in the world's ultimate strongman feats of strength that we did last year um, during lockdown. It was a British record, um, very good lift, very happy with how I lifted it, but my aim was to get 230 kilos. So although it was a 
you know, one of the best lifts in history, I guess. To me, it wasn't the finished article, so that's what I'm looking for. Is I wouldn't even say the finished article is 230, you know, it's, that's my goal, is to hit 230 kilos. Um, I was very happy with it, but, you know, I need to aim for higher, aim for bigger. Um, and that will, that will happen in, in the next kind of world record attempt we go for. It was such a good event because, obviously, last year with the, the pandemic, we didn't have anything to compete for, anything to prep for, and Woos, they came on board and kind of arranged these feats of strength, which was pretty iconic. That's why it's got such fond memories. We did it here in the gym with a few people watching. Um, it was broadcast to, you know, however many hundreds of thousands or millions of people. There's that many British guys that are capable of kind of great things now. So hopefully um, we can all push that uh, log record higher and higher and higher. So that's my number seven off feats in Strongman. Now we're moving up now, it's number six. This was pretty special for me. This was the first time I pressed 200 kilos in a competition. It was back in Scotland, Strongest Man. We had the great Zydrinus Zaviskas, he was over. He was actually in the competition. He was in with a max log comp. So it's just Zydrinus and myself left in the comp. And I'm looking at myself, I'm like, what is going on? You know, I'm competing with the best presser that's ever lived. And I'm kind of holding my own. No one else in Scotland had ever pressed 200 before then. So I had a bit of pressure to kind of do it. And my idol, uh, Zydrinus was watching me, popped it up. And a little stumble, a little wobble, managed to lock it out and got the down signal and that was my first 200 kilo log and I was just buzzing. I was just in cloud nine then because to do that in front of Z, that was that was pretty pretty iconic and hopefully Z, if you're watching this, you'll be there and I press the 230 kilo log as well. So that was my number six. So now we're going into the top five. First off the top five at number five is Britain's Strongest Man Giants Live when I came third, sharing the podium with my brother Tom and my other brother Adam Bishop. Um, Adam took first place, well deserved win from Adam, but it, it was just nice to be on that podium. You know, that was uh, the first time for me being on a Giants Live podium. I was hoping for the first place win there, but credit to Adam, credit to Tom, they put in a really good performance. And it's just nice to share the podium with people you love and respect. Hopefully we can kind of recreate that a few times this year in the next couple of years, but I'm hoping for that first place and maybe Adam and Tom can fight out for second and third. Once you get that podium in Giants Live, I think that kind of cements you in that kind of top guys in the world. And that's where I really felt kind of, you know, that's where I belong now. And on those podiums, pushing for the titles and that's where I want to be. So that's why that was my number five. My number four was actually one of the most successful competitions for me. It was World's Ultimate Strongman Dubai, uh, where I finished second place behind Matej and Tom came third. So that was probably the most successful competition for me in my career. Financially, it was a very good win, but more, more than the financial aspect, it was a mental thing for me. It was doing so well in that competition made me realize that I could go full time. Um, I wasn't full time at that point. I was I was still working offshore, working on oil rigs, and I thought, well, for me to come second, still part time, and and go up against all these great athletes, I'm thinking, well, imagine if I went full time, and that really gave me the boot up the the backside to kind of go full time and really commit to the sport and kind of create the business that we have now. We've got the gym, the merchandise, so I kind of owe all to that finish uh, second at World's Ultimate Strongman. So. It's, it's amazing sometimes, you know, that you need that little confidence boost to kind of give it your all. I knew it was in me, I knew I had that potential, but I think I needed something just to, to back up myself. So that really gave me the boost and that's why um, that's number four. We are now into the top three. So number three is the very first time I won Scotland's Strongest Man. That was one of the, the highlights of my career. That's why I think that paved the way for me to be where I am now today. If I didn't win that title first time, then I might have, you know, lost faith, whatever, I don't know. Winning that title the first time, being the strongest man in, in, a, in a country like Scotland, meant a huge deal to me. When I went to compete there, I was relatively unknown. So again, that, that self-doubt was creeping into me. Should I do this competition, should I not? Am I gonna make a fool of myself? I was going up against great athletes, but I remember doing it, I think I'd won it. I'd, had an, I'd secured enough points by the time we got to the last event. So effectively, I didn't need to do the last event. I did the last event, won it, and it was you know, quite a, a clear um, margin um, of, of points. So that was so cool. You know, we had, there was a good crowd down watching us, mum, dad, 
Um, Tom was there as well, he actually did the crowd challenge in the Scotland Strongest Man, which was pretty awesome. And I think that really gave Tom that buzz to want to compete as well. And that just kind of put me on the scene. You know, it's like, this guy's come out of nowhere. He's won his, his first Scotland Strongest Man he's ever done. Basically his first strongman competition he's ever done. He's won that and he went and won it. I went and won that title for the next five years. So it was the, the start of the, the Stoltman reign in Scotland, so to speak. So that's why that's in my top three at number three. So guys, we're now into the top two of my favorite strongman moments. This was a tough one. This was one of my favorite moments and it could have easily been the favorite moment, but when Tom and I were competing at Europe's Strongest Man a couple of years ago, we were both in the stones um, against each other. So Tom was on one side, I was on the other. Tom obviously obliterated the stones, he came round, I was struggling on the last stone, I had stone sleeves on and they were slipping, and Tom was just screaming at me to do it. Come on, you gotta do it, he's screaming, screaming, screaming. And I managed to get the 200 kilo stone, and after, you know, we see his pumping chest, going to the crowd, afterwards the crowd, you know, some of the guys from the crowd were saying they were in tears watching it. Um, and it just, that was like that iconic moment I felt in Strongman that, you won't ever see again. You know, having the world's strongest brothers competing against each other in stones in front of 10 plus thousand people at a Giants Live. I think one of the most iconic moments I've experienced in Strongman and I even get goosebumps just thinking about it now. So it was such a, an amazing event and huge thank you to Giants Live for making that happen. And that's why it's number two. So the final and the most special moment in my Strongman career to date was competing at World's Strongest Man when both Tom and myself made history and became the first brothers in the entire history of World's Strongest Man to make the final. And that was such a special moment. We had Dad there, we had Cushy, Sinead, just having them there. I remember doing the stones and winning the stone off and looking across to Dad, he's in tears. So Cushy, she's in tear tears and Sinead, it was such a, a memorable moment and to know that we'd succeeded, you know, when Dad was out watching us was such a special moment for both Tom and I and, and that really kind of catapulted us into, into a different dimension, I think, in Strongman and I think that's why we can now do what we do. You know, we can train, we sell merchandise, we can do this full time and commit to it 100%. Um, and that's what we want to do. We, we are professional strongmen. That's my job as a professional strongman. And I love just giving back to, to you guys. And you know, that, that was such an iconic moment. Again, we had two, two iconic moments, the one in the stones and then being the first in history, no one can ever take that away from us. You know, so that's, that goes down in history books for the rest of our lives. And for me, that is the, the creme de la creme of my strongman career moments and that's why that is number one right guys that was my top 10 moments in my strongman career i hope you agreed if you didn't write a couple of comments down and let me know what your favorite moments were make sure you tune in next video to see big tommy's top 10 strongest man moments stay safe smile stay spicy and don't forget to ring that little bell Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling.